Welcome back, quilters. We have another fun design. And it's another organic design. Well, it is and it isn't. It's a combination. But again, it doesn't require any marking. And that's what I've been trying to do with the designs I've been posting lately is to give you some choices that don't require marking. But of course, all of them require practice. So let's see what that design is. What do you think? Does that look hard and complicated? Remember, I like to break all my designs down into manageable parts. So let's see what the parts are to make this design. Here is a section of that design. That is the main shape of the design. The next thing you want to do is instead of doing them individually, connect them one right after the other. So here's the first one and then continue with the next and continue with the next one. All right, so first individually, practice them separately, then do a row together. After we're able to do a row of them together, we want to continue and do them the opposite side, but upside down or mirror image. See that? So perhaps you might have to practice them upside down before you connect them. I know what you're thinking. It looks too hard. But it isn't if we break it down into manageable pieces. So this is number one. Do them individually. Practice that. Then number two is to connect them. Number three might be to try them upside down first. Then number four is to connect them and then continue and do them upside down or mirror image. Notice what most of the stitching parts of the video, I increase the speed. Occasionally I will slow down the machine speed if you would benefit from watching it being stitched slowly. But most often the speed is increased so that you can get through it and not have to watch me stitch for 15 minutes. I will catch up with you at the end of the video.
Is this a challenging design? Do you think you're going to give it a try? I hope you give this design a try. I like it. I have yet to use it in a project, but I think it could be used for a tote bag maybe, or a project bag, or a table runner. Sometimes we don't know what works until we try. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.